We all have such busy lifestyles that breaking away from our day-to-day -day life and getting to the range is often really difficult to do. It is absolutely a hard thing to do. And I think that there's so many ways that you can be at home and continue to sharpen your skills with your pistol. Absolutely, and with the ammunition shortage that we're all experiencing right now, it's really put an extra value on dry fire practice. It's actually one of my favorite skills that I teach when I teach uh, my students during class time is dry fire because there's no recoil, there's no ammunition used, mm -hmm. and you can really get right down to the nitty gritty of any problems mm -hmm. that you're having. Yeah, and so you can hone in your fundamentals right at home mm -hmm. in your living room right. without firing around. And then when you actually get to the range, you're really ready to go to work and see the improvement that you've made with your dry fire practice. Absolutely. Taking recoil out of the equation changes everything. Yes. Absolutely. Especially as you become more proficient with your firearm, your brain psychologically, you'll start to really anticipate shots and recoil and the sound. Um, a lot of people are very sound sensitive. So dry fire practice is extremely valuable, mm -hmm. especially after you've spent some time at the range doing live fire to really dive back in and practice those fundamentals. One of my favorite drills that I love to teach is the diamond washer drill. It is invaluable because you take recoil out of the mm -hmm. equation. And one of the most important things is that you are set up with all of the fundamentals, that you are focusing on your trigger press, your side alignment, that you have a target, whether mm -hmm. it's something on the wall or an actual target, and that you walk through those fundamentals as well as a proper positioning and platform to shoot from. One of the things that I see a lot at the range as an instructor is that students, especially ones who are new to firearms, they will be pushing down. They'll anticipate that recoil. Now, a gun is like a small bomb going off three mm -hmm. feet in front of your face. So a lot of people, they try to push it away. So we'll see those shots start gathering down at the bottom of mm -hmm. the target. And this is a really good way to bring those shots back up because they focus on a nice, clean trigger press straight back and they can also work on a trigger reset while they're uh, doing a diamond washer drill. Absolutely, let's get started on the drill and we'll walk you guys through how to do this drill. It's really simple, you can do it with a friend or you can actually even do this drill at home by yourself. Right. The most important thing is firearm safety. So always have empty magazines, your ammunition separate from your firearm. Make sure that your chamber is empty and your firearm is in an empty condition, keeping your firearm pointed in a safe direction in your home, always practicing knowing where your target is and what's beyond. The other thing you wanna make sure is that there's absolutely no ammunition in the room and that makes this a sterile environment and safe to depress the trigger. Empty mag. I'm going to use a quarter for this drill because it's a little wider and a little more surface area that makes it a lot more unstable on top of the pistol. Because I'm doing this drill myself, I'm gonna go ahead and put the quarter on the barrel of the pistol and extend my body position out. One of the things that's really important that Christy's gonna be doing here is focusing on her sight alignment. So sight alignment is maintaining your back sights and your front sight and making sure that there is equal space in between them and it's fully centered. The next thing is the sight picture and she'll be focusing on the front sight and your eyes can't focus on more than one thing at a time. Perfect. Okay, as you can see throughout the trigger press, uh, I did not disturb the quarter off the top of the pistol, which is exactly what we wanna do. As you can see, it's really important that Christy's aligned properly. She has a slightly bladed stance. She's athletic, she is forward, so that she can have a great shooting platform. This is also a really great opportunity to practice racking our slide. When we're racking the slide, what's really important is a push-pull motion. And so I will be pushing with my shooting hand and I'm going to be pulling back 
and I'm going to use my large muscle groups. So I'm gonna bring it in close to my body because as women, typically we don't have the same strength that we are not do. as strong out here as Absolutely. we are close to our body. Absolutely, so we bring it in. If we were ever in a self-defense situation, we lose our fine motor skills. So we bring it in, we use our large muscle groups. I'm taking my hands and I'm racking completely over because you know, if I broke my thumb or any of my fingers, mm -hmm. I can still rack a slide with one or two fingers. Absolutely. Even the top of your hands. And we're gonna bring a push pull. And I like to do a little bit of follow through. And you can see that I hit my body and I bring it forward. And that way for people who are new shooters, um, they're not riding the slide, mm -hmm. which doesn't seat your cartridge properly. The other consideration to make too is the grip on the pistol. You want to make sure when you are racking a pistol, you're not grabbing it at the bottom of it. You want to focus on taking the thick part of the webbing of your thumb and running it all the way up Absolutely. and into the back strap of the pistol. That will allow you to take your three fingers, index them around the grip mm -hmm. and your trigger finger and align it straight down along the side of the frame of the pistol, giving you a nice, strong and firm grip. You're gonna have a lot more grip on the pistol if you hold it properly, mm -hmm. which is gonna make racking the slide and obviously shooting a lot easier. It's really as simple as meeting the fatty part of, parts of your hands. If you come here, it should fit in like a puzzle piece. And there shouldn't be any gaps really in between the two of your thumbs. And this is the way to best manage recoil mm -hmm. because if we do have that looser grip, the gun can come back. And also these are mechanical devices. And if they don't have a good background, they're not going to work. They're not gonna to continue to run mm -hmm. and we're gonna have a malfunction. Absolutely. Having a good texture on your grip is really important because as we shoot, our hands tend to wanna to wobble around, especially if we get a little hot or humid or sweaty. So as you can see, we're getting full contact with this grip and we're very safe. So this slide is never gonna come back and bite us or hurt us. Right. Get proper firearms training, especially if you're a new firearms owner. There are so many different options out there and so many people mm -hmm. that you can get really good help from. There are many NRA pistol instructors and most likely a well-armed woman chapter located near you. So get online and find a group of great people to hit the range with.